Okay, this is just a real quick video on how to trace an image for those of you just getting started in CNC and getting started with Inkscape. So the first thing you're going to do is import your drawing. You're going to want something that has a pretty good amount of contrast. You know, black and white silhouettes, clip art. So I bring this image in to Inkscape. And I want to trace this and make a cut path. I'm going to go up to Path, Trace Bitmap. It'll bring up my tracing options. Then I'm going to want to select Live Preview. As long as you've got the image selected, this preview will come up. Well, as you can see, this image has a watermark on it. And that watermark showing up in the path. That's showing you how it's going to trace it. That's obviously going to be a problem. If you, address, if you adjust your threshold, and go up with that as you can see the watermark will go away now the only other thing I typically do if I'm tracing something like this I go to options and I'll adjust my optimized path the tolerance up a little that usually cuts down the amount of nodes it throws in on the trace then you hit OK now this is my trace I don't need this anymore I can delete this close this window now here's my traced image now if you go over to your node selection tool over here on the left click that you can hit the plus zoom in this will show you all your nodes control points this is a result of the trace a lot of times you know they're not going to come up the cleanest you can go through and delete these to get a smoother cut the less nodes you have, the smoother that's going to cut. Um, you can go through, you select a group of them at a time, backspace, delete them. A lot of times I get people asking, you know, how to remove the nodes, how do you get rid of a group of them, just highlight them and delete. Another thing you do, you see I, I've moved these, I've deleted a node, but you see this handle is crooked. That's you grab these handles and move them around that's going to adjust your path the direction it's going I usually when I'm done removing nodes hi highlight these nodes go up here and hit this which is make selected nodes smooth and that'll straighten those out and give you a nice clean cut this is something you'll see a lot too if you notice this node looks different than this node that's because this is actually if I grab this and drag it there's more than one node there there's two of them on top of each other so if I hit control Z that'll go back if I select both of these they disappear hover your cursor over it it'll turn red hit shift and J that'll join those two nodes together now you just have one node there if I hit control Z it goes back now I can smooth those out you know you got a nice clean path now if you go around you know, you can just send this to the cutter as is. It'll cut. It'll be all right. But you're better off spend a little time, go around it, select nodes, join them or delete them, and then smooth out the remaining nodes. You'll end up with a nice, clean cut path ready to send to the CNC. So once you're done editing nodes, smoothing them, whatever you want to do to it, add to it, whatever, the next thing, this is important, is go to your file, document properties, drag this over here, hit resize page to content, resize page to drawing or selection, that'll adjust your page size to match the drawing. Now, the reason that's important is later you'll have 500 paths, you know, files saved on your computer and when you're going through in a thumbnail view if you haven't centered your document properties on your drawing you won't see what you've got and it makes it a pain in the ass you've got to open every drawing to see what it is so trust me do this now and save yourself headache later and once you're done everything's adjusted you've made the adjustments to your nodes that you want you're just going to go up to file save as and yeah, pick your folder right one hopefully I'm just gonna go to this examples folder here's my drawing something else that's really important is name your drawing something you can identify in the future 
So deer head. And then hit save, and that's going to save it as an SVG. If you want a DXF, file, save as. Go here. Select this desktop cutting plotter, DXF. Save. That's going to give you these options here. I generally don't do anything with them. OK. And done. Now you've made your cut paths. You can go to your post processor. Import your drawing. You know, go to where your folder where you saved it. And there's my deer head. There it is. That's the result of my trace. I can run my apply my plasma cut, send it over to the CNC and cut that out. It's that easy.